Earlier this month, Attorney General Jeff Sessions rescinded the Justice Department policy that paved the way to marijuana legalization and ordered federal prosecutors to enforce the laws that Congress makes. That directive has now created a mess of confusion in the 29 states in D.C. that have legalized marijuana for medical and or recreational use and among the 60 percent of the U.S. population who lives in one of those places, me included. To help me unpack this, I'm joined by Inga. Inga Frickland. She's a former assistant state attorney in Cook County who now lives in Oregon, a state that allows recreational marijuana. And she was also involved in that state's legalization campaign. Inga, thanks so much for joining the show. Well, thanks so much for asking me. So just to kick us off, help us understand uh, kind of the 101. What did Jeff Sessions do? What did his rollback of that guidance mean? Uh, And where do things stand right now legally? To understand that, I think we need to back it up to the Obama administration. Remember, we have had the marijuana as Schedule One on the books for the federal government since Nixon in 1971. And that law has, that's not been changed since then. The Obama administration did not change the law. And I do fault them for that. Instead, what the Justice Department did with a memo authored by, uh, I guess, an assistant attorney general named Cole, hence the name Cole Memo, said, we're not going to enforce it. Which, you know, I'm a lawyer and, and thinking strictly from a rule of law point of view, not changing the law and saying, hey, let's just not reinforce the thing, is really not very good public policy. But that's that's where we were. And what the the memo, it was like a three-page long memo, said that U.S. attorneys in the 93 separate uh, districts that the U.S. is divided up into had the, were discouraged from prosecuting things which were legal under state law. And the various states took that pretty much as a go ahead that the federal government is not going to bother us and we just have to enforce our own law. And the Cole memo also said you know, that the states, to have a free pass here, clearly had to be enforcing their own law. Uh, for example, making sure that marijuana stayed out of the hands of kids and that that's something which could be prosecuted. So that was the status of the U.S. attorneys being directed to just hold back. By removing that memo, Sessions is sort of turning the clock back to pre coal memo times, all the way back to 1971, with the U.S. attorneys free to prosecute what's on the books. And that would include violations of federal marijuana law, even those those things are now legal under state law. So that's what we've come to today. And in the last minute or so that I have with you, there's also some hope among advocates for legalization along the lines that you've just been describing that Sessions action could actually mobilize uh, not just folks to out there in the streets pushing back the general public and at the state level, but actually potentially could spur enough pushback in Congress to pass some kind of legislation that that locks into stone. Uh, the Cole memo in a way that it could no longer be uh, played with by future administrations as we're seeing now. Do you think that that's a potential outcome here? And, and how do you think this all ends up? I think that a huge amount of blowback may well have the effect of changing some law. But I don't want to see just, oh, let's lock the Cole memo in. You know, there's been... Uh, Congressional action for the last couple of years saying no federal money spent going after medical marijuana, and there's some movement to extend that to uh, adult use. But rather than keeping the bad law federal on the books and say, no, no, let's continue not enforcing it, I want them to go the whole nine yards and say, okay, this law has got to be repealed. So I hope we're going to be able to harness some of this uh, 
blowback that's coming, not just from street level activists, but from all the businesses and venture capitalists who want to invest to finally get this problem solved. That's my 